Though the days are getting shorter and the weather is getting cooler, London doesn't stop offering amazing events for us to enjoy. From music to theater and art to food festivals, we've got some fantastic events in London to enjoy this autumn. So let's dive in. Taking the last of the summer festivities at Covent Garden's Cool Down Festival held in the August Bank Holiday Weekend, 27th through 31st August. The festival invites guests to enjoy frozen treats from some of the area's best restaurants, as well as several pop-ups. Get adventurous with your ice cream flavor choices or treat yourself to a frozen cocktail. If it's a little chilly, there will also be coffee and sweet treats to enjoy in the Festival Hub's Rainbow Alfresco seating area. For Instagram-worthy treats, visit Bubble Wrap, a new restaurant in the area. They will be serving up waffle cones topped with ice cream and bespoke toppings. They even have created an exclusive option that pays homage to Covent Garden Market's history, the Rose and Strawberry Blossom, which includes rose-infused bubble wrap waffle Alfonso Mango Sorbet Strawberry and Dried Rose Petals. If you're a vegan and you can also visit Venchi who have their gorgeous gelato sorbet on offer, you can even buy one get one free 12 to 2 p.m. and need to say the password Venchi Vegan Ice Cream. For gorgeous frozen cocktails, there are also many options to consider. However, the top picks are Buns and Buns for their Chai Spiced Mule. Now, I couldn't share a collection of events in London without mentioning my favorite museum, the v a in South Kensington. They've launched their latest exhibit, Africa Fashion, which will be available until the 16th of April, 2023. But as their exhibits quickly sell out and fill up, bookings are definitely recommended in advance. This exhibit will showcase the entire African continent through its fashion with textiles, design, and still and moving images. It offers close-up look at a groundbreaking designers, collective stylists, and even fashion photographers working in Africa today. If that wasn't enough, it also will showcase how the digital world has accelerated the growth of the industry. You'll discover fashion from the 1960s to the present day in this wonderful exhibit. The exhibit celebrates the innovation and designs of creatives from over 20 countries exploring the works they have created during the 20th century with contemporary couture, ready to wear, made to measure, and adornments that truly are exquisite storytelling exhibition that I personally have enjoyed seeing. It's free to attend for V&A members or 16 pounds for non-members, but you do need to beg book in advance. Fulfill your nosy needs with the Open House Festival celebrating their 30th year from the 8th through the 21st September. This exploratory and unique opportunity to peek into the buildings and private houses that are usually closed to the public is one not to miss. There are guided tours you can attend that really maximize our experience. Or you can visit your favorite picks from the locations on your own. This year's con contributions are yet to be announced, but previous years have opened the doors to 10 Downing Street, City Hall, home to the Mayor of London, until recently, or even see the paintings by William Hogarth at the Great Hall. This year, the festival has also launched a curatorial element such as neighborhood plans, making it easier and more accessible to see the huge range of London's architecture. For the full list of 2022 open homes and locations, you can request the printed guide from their website for just $11.99. For even more design satisfaction, you can visit the London Design Festival from the 17th to the 25th September, which has been showcasing the works of designers, architects, artists, and retailers since 2008. The festival transforms London into a huge collection of over 200 installations, workshops and panels, and unique spaces across London. You can discover creations from world-famous museums to smaller studios. Each year offers a new subject, and this year's theme addresses some of the biggest challenges the society is facing today, such as the effects of humans on the natural environment. The festival is predominantly free, which entices many visitors to the different locations for the installations. In 2019, the festival estimates 600,000 visitors, one third of which were overseas. What's great is you'll definitely be seeing designers and their inspiration. Finally, get your contemporary and classic art fix at the annual Freeze London and Freeze Masters Art Fairs, hosted in Regent's Park from the 12th through the 16th of October. Freeze London has curated a collection of the world's most 
significant contemporary artists from the emerging to the well-loved, presented by over 160 international galleries. With curated sections to peruse, you can take advantage of this exclusive collection to satisfy any contemporary art lover's appetite. Freeze Masters, also held in Regent's Park, gives you a unique view on the relationship between history, historical art, and contemporary practice. With art creations before the year 2000, it is a great juxtaposition to the sister fair, Freeze London. For a free viewing experience, walk between the two fairs and you'll find Freeze Sculpture, which is a free display of the major outdoor works located in the Regent's Park's English Gardens at the south end of the Broadwalk. Free Sculptures is open to all from mid-September until mid-November. Combined admission to the Masters and the London Fairs is £64 for the weekend, or you can also get exclusive preview access on the Thursday or Friday. There are also tickets for access to just the London or Master exhibits, should you wish. These are just five of my top picks of events to attend this autumn in London. Which was your favorite? If you're planning to attend any of these autumn events in London that you want to add to your calendar, share the details in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great tips and information about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.